Hello everybody and welcome to the Ship Modelers Lab. This channel is dedicated to ship modeling and everything connected with it. Exhibitions, competitions and maritime museums. Building models from scratch and from kids. From keel to a final photo shoot with examples and tips how it was done. I decided to make this video with answers to frequently asked questions on my channel. For example, how did I start in ship modeling? How do I know all these tips and secrets? what kit to choose for a beginner, do I sell models, and so on. I have a list of 20 such questions that I will answer with video examples in this issue, and I will tell you my autobiography as a ship modeler. So, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ola. I am a ship modeler and photographer from Ukraine, but living in the USA. By profession, I am a civil engineer, and this only helped me in my ship modeling. In Europe, this is a sport where is the main criterion for the quality of the model is historical accuracy, matching the drawings, and detailing the model according to its scale. I had excellent coaches who taught me and shared their experience with me for 10 years. That is how I got the highest rank in this sport, Master of Sport of Ukraine. I could already teach my own students and intern as a judge if I hadn't immigrated to the US. I had great desire to share my experience, and that is how this channel appeared. This was a small background. Now back to the questions. Why did I choose ship modeling? I have had an interest in ships since childhood, but then I used to cross-stitch ships because I didn't know about the existence of the ship modeling hobby. How did I start in ship modeling? In 2010, De Agostini published a magazine with a kit of the Galeon San Giovanni Battista, offered as installments. This is how I began. How did I get my experience? I visited a model ship competition where I met my future coach, who began teaching me to how to install a historically accurate running rigging on the Galeon. The standing rigging was already installed. And after my first competition, there was a queue of professional modelers who wanted to be my coaches. In this way, I got under total control without the right to make a mistake when building models. How do I know all these tips and secrets? Working on my own models as well as group builds in the workshops with professionals, I learned how to work with different tools and learn many techniques and secrets in a very short time. Because the more a student knows and wins in the competitions, the higher the coach's sports pension, so money talks. What kit to choose for a beginner? This is the most difficult question for me, because there is no such kit that will be easy to build. Sometimes a small boat is harder to build than a much bigger brig. Because the manufacturer sets the complexity according to the number of parts and does not take into account the technological part of building. 
Therefore, it is better to choose a ship that you like, so that you don't lose interest in it before completing. What glue to use? From my own experience, I prefer PVA or white glue, which is reversible. That is, you can remove any part or plank without damaging the planks next to it and replace it. This is also very important in the restoration of museum models. Why I don't use super glue as the main glue? This is sometimes irreplaceable glue, but it is not removable like PVA. Therefore, I use it for temporary fixation, for example, when carving, or to sew the ends of lines so that it is easier to insert into blocks. It can also be used as a grain sealer before wood tinting, instead of nitro varnish, etc. How to unglue parts glued with PVA? This glue is easy to peel off when heated, for example with an iron or a soldering iron, but you need to remove the part quickly while the glue is still hot, because it cures instantly if you remove the heater. What is that metal silver block? This is a piece of aluminum scrap. It is flat and has an angle of 90 degrees. Its size is just perfect for precise sanding, 90 degree alignments or pressing. It's just a universal tool. What is the tool I use to scrape off excess glue? This is a broken file, which I sharpen on a disc sander at an angle to make it convenient to remove excess glue from hard to reach places. Where to buy books about ship modeling? Almost 80% of the entire library you can see on my channel was bought from Amazon or eBay. Why do I build kits? It just so happens that I get the most questions from beginners and kit builders. This is my audience the ones who want to learn something from me. But I am very pleased that even scratch modelers very often leave comments that they have found something new and useful on my channel. What kind of liquid do I pour on the deck and then scrape off and why?
This is the thinner CA to imitate metal nails of the smallest diameter. The glue also fills all the gaps between the planks, and the deck and planking do not deform due to changes in humidity over the years. Do I sell models? Yes, I sold almost all models that I built in Ukraine, because in order to build the next one, I needed room and money to buy tools. Now I have a place to collect them, but I can sell or build on commission models as well. I still need to buy materials and tools to build new models. How to calculate the price of a model? When I hear this question, another question comes to mind. For what salary are you willing to do this? But the reality is that no one will buy these models at their true cost. Therefore, if you are paid $2 per hour for it, it is already a successful sale. How many models I am building at the same time? I've always had three models on the stock at the same time, and now I have five. They are all of different levels of difficulty, and one is from scratch. What finishes do I use on the models? I admire museum models that were built in the 17th century. Therefore, I prefer to use traditional shellac or various oils as the main finishes. What kind of wood do I prefer? I also prefer the classic pear, boxwood and other fruit woods that were traditionally used on 17th century models. Why don't I talk in the videos? Very often I edit a video from material shot into 1 to 3 weeks. I just speed up the video by 2 to 4 times, which makes it impossible to record the conversation. And then I prefer subtitles, because that way viewers from other countries can translate it into any language, so don't forget to turn on subtitles to learn more about techniques, materials and tricks. Why don't I scan the drawings and books and share them with viewers? Because I don't have the copyright for it and I don't support piracy in ship modeling. Anyone who has built at least one model and designed drawings, which usually takes several years, will understand this. If I create my own drawings, then you can find a link in the description under the video to download. Thank you for watching, please comment down below if you have more questions and I will answer them as well.